Dear diary. <laughs> no, actually, actually, it's a journal. Um, it's a journal. So you know how I moved to the mountains, technically, but also not technically because I'm gonna be leaving? Well, I'm still here, and I want to say I've been here 20 days, but that seems like way more. Yo, hold on, my pen is starting to dry out. Man, why do these dry out so fast? God, these pens run out of ink in like five minutes. Come on. Get out, can you not? 20 days, but that seems like way more. But I think that's also like what it is. I don't know, man. Time's going fast. Time's going slow. But apparently it's spring now, which is exciting. Basically, I want to basically I have to get out the first like few words. Spring has sprung. sprung. I, I don't know much about seasons, but what I do know. Oh, God, my voice. What I do know is that the weather's been getting better. It's so cold. And my propane ran out. So my heater stopped working. Please. No, really though, I I am having a good time. I am, and I've been making friends. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, with the other work exchange people. Sometimes we have deep conversations about life. Do you like watching TV? Yeah. All right, now I'm just stalling because I really want to show you what I've been up to, and I have the footage. I just don't know how to put it together, so here goes nothing. But uh, please enjoy. This is a Hannah's Hiatus production, and I'll, I'll, I'll see you later. five days ago. Woo! Yay for expensive ass but cheap coffee. America. Nothing like celery and peanut butter after a long day of shoveling and rejuvenating myself because we just dug up the, not the antler, the horn. No, horn? Yeah, we buried it with this stuff called <laughs> cryptocurrency. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm doing all the heavy lifting here. <laughs> yeah. Looking for Jumanji. What is Set Jumanji? Up. Jumanji, it's like this movie. You go into the game. Oh, I guess I should elaborate on that. No, we're looking for the yeah. horn. Wow. It's got fertilizer in it. You'll see. So you guys want to do Tai Chi later? Or yeah. Okay. Now we're going to do some Tai Chi. Yeah. That's life on a homestead. The society we live in has far evolved. Our standard of living revolves around material to boost one's ego and feel superior to others in his community. For some, this idea is subconscious to their actions. Others are aware, but we are all guilty of this in some form. We are so disconnected from the planet, yet are so connected with the world. This connection is parallel to our boasting selfish norms and is far from any sort of connection as it is hardly used for anything authentic and good. Materialism won't stop 
it will become cheaper in quality and price to continue to please consumers, thus an awakening to this illusion and an end of the world. Holy shit. <laughs> I stuttered Good. once. Should I read it again? It's sad because people are starting to not value real art or real connection. That's what I, yeah. Well, we're so disconnected from the planet, yet so connected with the world. But is it really connected? Right, exactly. Point? It's not authentic and good in any form. No. Is this really what we've come to? Is this our society? Uh -huh. Basing somebody's value off of how pretty they are, right. or what their job is. Are we allowed to just exist anymore? Here comes the wild. Kitty now! Do you hear that? We got baby chicks. Ba bam I'm gonna name you Flapjack, yeah. I'm baby mama! And you can be Flapjack too. Flapjack 3. Poopy, you guys pooped on me. And you can be chickity chick. This is Ginger. Fly. Fly. Whoa, we're like. What are you doing? She's at the bottom of the pecking order. You saw it here. Chicken girl in the flesh. I'm Yo, chicken girl. There? She's not goat girl. She doesn't understand. <laughs> I'm a goat. I really think that I should have been born as a goat. Not quite sure why. And oh my lanta. Smile for the picture. <laughs> we got baby goats. I just wanted to show the progression of them getting a little bit bigger. That one is uh this is some motherly shit. What can't she do? Yeah. No! Becky! <gasps> Did you ever prettiest. read that book as a kid? No, it's like a horse book, right? Oh. Yeah, I read that book. I, yeah, I, read that book. Uh, I was not a horse girl. I was either. a chicken girl. <laughs> it shows. <laughs> what food should we bring to the? That's all that's on my mind. Should we bring like crackers and hummus? Way in the head now. Oh. Question of the day: Do you say hummus or hummus? Which one is it? It's called basic for a reason. Most I have literally eaten so many of. These. Spring has the eye craft sprung. Spring is when things start to grow again because I guess you know we're coming out of hibernation. How that relates to us because we don't hibernate. It's like it's time for you to make a decision for the Stick year. With it. Okay, that's a long time. At least okay, till but... spring is over. Make your decision, stick with it. The world's gonna throw shit Ooh. at you and you might not be able to stick with it, but that's okay. Life sucks sometimes. We get through it because we're strong. This is good, hummus. You want know some? Hummus. Yeah, I, I just broke it. It's kind of hard to um, comprehend in a sense because you know we think okay well we're always making decisions right whether it's spring summer winter whatever it is we're always having to make decisions because that's what being alive is you know you have to make choices in order to actually have a life because right. there's never just one answer of what to do <laughs> you this know, is your sign that you were looking for where right. you were like i don't know what i want to do but you do know it's like your gut right. this yeah. spring should be the gut well, season liver. it's the liver it's like detoxing yeah well we got well, who's this Taoist guy we need to have a conversation who is mr Taoist? who is this Taoist guy i'm gonna send him a letter in the middle <laughs> All the Taoists in the world are just like, did you hear? We're changing it from liver to gut. Some chick <laughs> named Hannah. She's got a YouTube channel, 306 subscribers. You better listen to her. I think I'm having my Jane Goodall moment. Jane Goodall. Who made your documentary? They might want, you might want to give them my number. Have a little chat. I'm one of you. Any day now, I'll be eating grass out the ground. Y'all are eating that. Wow. Not big into the interview but they love the camera and the hair amazing give me some classic quality content that i can really share with my viewers damn i look good <laughs> okay so yeah that's uh, been my life spring in the mountains who knew beautiful thing that is um i am gonna try and update you more often but i work a lot
things things are good you know like like i said before things things are good the anxiety yeah down would you believe that a little bit less let's knock on wood for that one i've been taking my lavender pills <laughs> um but th- th- thanks for you know paying attention i don't know if i should say listening or watching whatever you did well not that this is a podcast but <laughs> thanks for watching see you next time on hannah's hiatus tell your friends really you're gonna run out of ink again next time on hannah's hiatus cheers to being here yeah oh no what have you done <laughs> oh, no. i can move my eyeballs look forward look forward look forward let me see a photo let me see a photo i just want to see a photo i want to look at it cruel you're just mean. My hair was once to my knees, but no, I started having bugs and stuff. So it wasn't to your knees. No, I'm just it wasn't. For weeks, he's really? been like, "What if I never? What if I never? Yeah, what if I never grow it out again?" <laughs> well, I think it looks cool.